What's up again, guys, and welcome back to Design Takeover, where I take your design and uh, actually make them better. I think beginner on UI design. I'm not sure if he is a beginner, but um, I think he is actually experienced on design. It, it he has design experience. So the concept is a business card company. Okay. So if you're new here, guys, to Design Takeover. We will take this design and I will do uh, another redesign of this stuff and show you some tips and tricks uh, on how to dis improve your design. So thanks for sticking around guys and you know what time it is it's actually feedback time all right okay so i've just list here some stuff that you need to work on so number one first is competitor reference you need to reference your design process with other competitors to see what they're doing 
So in your design, you can see I can see clearly that this is not a reference for this is not reference properly versus other competitors. So what other what other stuffs I reference it with? GoDaddy and Graphic River. Just two websites. Why did I reference these two sites? Because number one, they are both online services apps. The other one offers business card also and uh, other stuffs. Number three was Vistaprint. And Vistaprint is an online printing service. So I referenced these three sites. So as I can see here in Graphic River, if I go here, on the hero side, on the hero side of things, I can see clearly that I can search for a template, right? And then I can see that there are graphics here that are featured. And then on this one in GoDaddy, I can see clearly that here, you, they want you to search for your domain. And then some, and then some offers here. Also this one, they have a big text here, and then they want to see you again, your email plans, which you have here. Then they have this one, which you have also here. So that's good. In Vista Print, so this is very similar to what you're doing right now. So in here, a lot of elements. It has a lot of elements because it is not offering a hyper specific demand like one business card. They offer like a lot of uh, print materials, right? So as you can see, this is the style of their here image. They have an image there, and they have this, like what you did here. But as you can see below, they want you to browse on the other stuffs. So contrasting with your design, I've done that here. So I have a hero image, then I want them to browse to the other products. On this side, I had the other hero image, then I, I want them to browse to the other product. So this leads me to the other, other topic, which is define the purpose of your website, right? Of the hero image of your website. So you want to direct the user to the selling of the business card. As a, sam as a sample here, so I will, I'll show them, to them that there are a lot of business cards here and for $6.99 a month, you can actually get unlimited revisions with low cost on business cards. And then in here, I show them that, oh, this is a sample business card here image and some text here and it, the card can be shipped. And also you can view your products or upload your design. You can add a description here that to say that uh, you can actually upload a design here. This, the purpose is the same. You want to sell them business card that they design or they want you to design. And then the second one is here. So you, so in the site, I speculate that there are business card templates. After you see the hero image, you want them to see what are the best sellers on your site. What are the business cards on your site? Like what they do here in, in Graphic River. Weekly best sellers. And the promotional and stuff there, what's the price, the rating of it, the text of it, the preview image. So you're funneling the user to actually upload their design there or buy a design from you. And then the second one, so the idea is if you enter a na your company name here, like uh, I'm thinking that the, the customer can easily see that what the business card will look like on a template. Try, try this design, this design. I think that's a better option. Thinking about it now. And then on the lower side, so this is just a list of custom business cards. So, so I added there the business cards here to the business card templates. Then I, I have also a sorting which are the newest, the tendering, and the best sellers and the industry specific. All I've gotten from this thing. So the last part of the design is the element hierarchy. So I did here is black and white only to show you the element hierarchy, right? So on this, on this one, I can see that this has a big impression. 
and this is also seems like it's out of place because it's just one line text line and this is also out of place seems like it's out of place right because you will the i would travel here on the middle part and it will go here and this this black is seemingly out of place also so it's better to move this one here than this one here so you will have the text for me it makes more sense to do it like that like in this one text a big text a subtext i can eliminate this one and do this so it doesn't look weird because the buttons are taller so if you make your buttons taller here it will show that this this button is important right and as you can see here i provided a big contrast on the hero image i want them to click on these buttons and also this one i wanted them to click this so that seems interesting this seems interesting i want to click that so in on, on the other hand this one this horizontal line creates interest this black line creates interest but this thing they cannot click on it if you get what i mean so rather than put interest on this one put interest on this one i would go even further to demonstrate this that this has a automated automated uh, text input like when you load here this will automate with like a random random text generator without even clicking it showing the person that you can actually change this and this will view on this one i want them to view a card here and to try out the design or upload the design and then if it, they don't want to do that i want them to show the other card designs so in here i i've established the hierarchy that this is more important the edit the funneling of the customer to to buy a card then here at the bottom i know that this font is uh, montserrat i i i'm quite sure it's montserrat and it doesn't actually work as a uh, text you can you better off having source sans source sans or roboto to have the body text you can you can keep Montserrat on the on the big uh, headings and also so in here the headings are Montserrat and the links are Montserrat also Montserrat so the biggest headings are Montserrat the links are Montserrat and then the other texts are Roboto because Montserrat is very very nice in headings and links it's not quite nice for for text because it has uh what you what you call this it has longer letter spacings it's a bit chunky for my taste in my opinion you can make it work if you want to okay so i hope this has been informative to you and just a quick uh, a quick summary of it so you need to work on the competitor reference you need to go to the other competitors like e-commerce site to see if your hero images is fit for that design so you don't have to just stop on the hero image you stop on the second fold like this one so you don't want to stop here you want to stop here or here on this side so so that you can funnel the the customer you are thinking ahead so number two is the purpose the purpose of the site so you want to have a clearly defined purpose on this one i am speculating that you want to sell business custom business cards or business card templates so i've did these two designs where the user input their company name on the hero image and this one is when the, where where i can say that hey we ship cards sell custom cards you want to upload your sign or view your products and then on the bottom bottom side you can see that we're selling actually business cards so i'm i'm clearly defining the purpose and also this one is just a little thing but you can see that the, there are loyalty members or you can subscribe to this business card to have more perks on it and the last one is element hierarchy so you you really want to define the hierarchy of what your do of your what your design is so what the the person would click on so 
on this one it's not clearly defined because this one has a small button you can you can have it bigger rel relative to the biggest thing here uh, here and here you want to necessarily know you want to necessarily control where the user would click on this thing i have more clicking clickable stuff so i can click here i can click here but on this one i can just click here if you click on this one you're not selling anything you want to sell you want to sell them on the idea that they will have a business card right if you just click here they will go to the browse page so i would just rather rather than opening another page you would just rather suggest that you can browse you can browse below just like on so you you can actually see that the hierarchy is all on selling you business cards okay so that's it for now and i hope you like this video and consider subscribing for other ui ui design stuffs art stuffs and gaming stuffs so i hope you're doing well today and have a good one